Hi, I'm Lauren Walters and I'm a third year medical student at Creighton University School of Medicine. Today I'll be talking about intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy, also called ICP. ICP occurs when there are high levels of bile acids in the blood. These bile acids are able to cross the placenta and get into the baby's blood, so it may be harmful to the mom or the baby or both. The most common symptom of ICP is itchiness. This itchiness usually affects the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet, but can be generalized and include the whole body. The itchiness is usually worse at night. Other symptoms are less common, but might include jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin, a lack of appetite, abdominal pain, generally feeling unwell or dark urine. ICP occurs in less than 1% of pregnancies in the United States. For unknown reasons, it's more common in those of Latin descent. Other factors that might make it more likely to develop ICP include an age greater than 35, a pregnancy achieved through IVF, a multiple gestation pregnancy, meaning you're carrying twins or triplets, women with hepatitis C, or women who have had ICP in prior pregnancies. There are some complications that can occur with ICP. The most important of these complications are growth restriction of the baby, a medically indicated preterm birth, stillbirth, or meconium staining of the amniotic fluid. It's important to know that not all women with ICP develop these complications. ICP is diagnosed with a blood test. This blood test will show high levels of bile acids. Other blood tests that might be ordered are other liver function tests. They may or may not be abnormal. It's also possible that your OB-GYN will order an ultrasound of the liver to make sure that nothing else is going on. ICP is managed with a medication called ursodeoxycholic acid. This medication works by lowering the level of bile acids in the blood. Your doctor will probably also give you a medication to help with the itchiness. Some OB-GYNs will want your baby to have more frequent monitoring with ultrasound and heart monitors. It's also possible that your OB-GYN will want to deliver your baby at 37 weeks of pregnancy or even earlier just to prevent complications in you or the baby. Symptoms of ICP almost always go away within two days of delivering the baby. Thank you for listening.